Welcome to the Suerte del Molino farm, Andalusia in Spain. We are here in the west of Andalusia, in Huelva. And uh, this is summer. This is our hot, dry period. And uh, we are blessed to have lots of huge oak and cork trees that give us some shade. We also uh, make our lives more difficult than we actually should because we are not working with the elements. We are trying to grow plants that needs, need water in summer and then we irrigate them. It uh, is actually much easier just to leave everything and like the other people bring the cattle in and the sheep and the goats and they graze everything. But somehow this is our road, this is what we have chosen, this is what we want to continue with. Let's see. We are still grappling with the concept of watering in the evening or in the morning. And uh, there are more many aspects to it. The one is what happens in the soil and the other is what is happening in plants. The soil, um, this clay soil, heavy clay soil, it does not absorb more water when it is moist. It doesn't absorb much when there is a crust. And uh, actually it absorbs more water when it is warm, the soil. On the other hand, the plants, the roots develop better in cooler soil. The growth, the absorption is better in cooler soil. So uh, I just have this anthena here and there's a dropper emitter on top of it and the soil feels cool and actually I can manage it, I can uh, touch it, I can break it and then uh, just a little bit further with this um, guayana, guava it is quite moist almost wet <coughs> when we only look at the soil the absorption is of water is influenced by the pH the salt levels uh, the hydraulic conductivity and uh, the crust of the soil and then the mulch and then the kind of irrigation so uh, we are learning if we just had one crop and uh, we would irrigate all of them the same we would get a better conclusion but we have many many species and then amongst each other and each of them prefer a different soil temperature for their roots or absorption temperature we are making it difficult for ourselves nutrients are also released easier in cooler soil that doesn't mean cold soil cooler soil than hot soil 
so the plants can absorb it better when it's cooler but the plants don't absorb during the night only during the sunshine time the warmer time so what can we conclude here we have a carob and a apricot who didn't make it and uh, now we have planted some pumpkins next to it making use of the emitter we also are investigating whether to plant seeds or seedlings it almost appears for our conditions that it's much better to plant seeds and uh, it is a different story when you want to get your vegetables out earlier in the season then it really makes sense to grow them in a greenhouse here we have planted several hundred seeds of the loquat wherever we have an emitter we just stick it in if the worst comes to worst and they all grow they will compete with what we have here already and then we can decide which one to keep or perhaps move them we have planted a lot of things on the swales the berms of swales and here it's a lot of shade and uh, watering irrigation i think we are not convinced of either morning or evening we'll do it when it suits our, our us best and uh, we'll also have to see the different conditions some of these swales are in full sun no shade whatsoever also depending on the plants and then it depends a lot whether it grew as a seed somehow those plants are much stronger with their root system when they come from a seed than being planted we have to deal very differently with the irrigation of the house garden potatoes are coming out artichokes in flower and then uh, things like lettuce and beans and a lot of strawberry store and onions and the gem squash growing wild and then some maize maize coming up as well we monitor it regularly to see how we should water and not here we also have much more organic material in the soil so it also changes the absorption possibilities aubergine basil pepper lettuce and then many herbs till next time Goodbye.